We've already seen that the cosine rule can be written as c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. And this is used when we're trying to find the length of a side. So it begins with c squared, which is obviously the length of the side squared. Now, if we're trying to find an angle, uh, we want to be looking at cosine of c, the angle c here. So what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this formula and change it so that we have cosine c equals. Now, the easiest way to do that is to add this big long term to each side. So if I add that to that side, well that disappears to zero, it goes away. So I need to add it to the left side as well to keep that balance of your equation. So I've now got 2ab cosine c plus c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Next move to make is to get rid of the c squared by doing a subtraction there. You can see that those two would disappear. But now we're imbalanced, so we need to take c squared from the right hand side as well. So we end up with 2ab cosine c is a squared plus b squared minus c squared. Final piece of the puzzle is to divide through both sides by 2ab. And 2ab over 2ab reduces down to 1. But if I do that, I have to divide the whole of the other side by 2ab too. This leads us to the final rearrangement, which is cosine c is equal to a squared plus b squared minus c squared all over 2ab. Yeah.